Hello and welcome to a new video. Before I begin, I hit 200 yesterday. That is quite a small number in like, the grand schemes of life. But 200 people clicking on my face and then clicking a little red button to see more of my face is mental. Why do people want to see this? I barely want to see it, so why other people? It's baffling. So, many, many thank yous. Or oh, 200. I'm getting famous. Anyway, this video is going to be about flags. I watched a lot of Big Bang Theory yesterday, and I was on. I could waffle on about flags for a little bit. So I thought I'll Google some facts and then start waffling about them really. So the study of flags and I am going to butcher this is a ve vexillologist. One of the most famous vexillologists is Graham Bartram. He's a fellow at the Flag Institute. I did not know that that was even a thing. I did not know that there was a a Flag Institute. What? I'm not entirely because I'm I'm presuming that you have to get like a a PhD or like a something like that. But what more could could be possibly studied? Like people know what there is to know about flags. Like there's a little bit of fabric. Why, why is there a study on flags? Anyway, flag is a Saxon word derived from the word flacken. Flacken. Facken. To fly or float in the air. There's not really much to say other than I have 100% butchered that. When, when it comes to difficult words, like words I haven't really said before, I'm not the most intelligent. So, anyway, there are some national flags which are similar or identical to each other. For example, the flags of Romania and Chad are vertically identical. I did not know that. The flags of Ireland and Cote de... The Ivory Coast. We'll go with the Ivory Coast. Are identical colour. Have the stripes are reversed. I did actually know that one before I googled it. I just had to kind of make sure. Because we're, we're about like actual facts here. The Polish flag is the same as the Indonesian flag if you reverse it. And the Netherlands and Luxembourg have the same order of colours in the triangular flag. No, not triangular, tricolour flag. Will I edit that out? Almost certainly not. Although the Dutch blue colour is darker. Slight tangent here. Did you know that the capital of Luxembourg is Luxembourg? Yeah. All proper full of facts today. Now we move on to a more kind of more depressing fact. Bikini Atoll's flag is nearly identical to the American flag. But instead of the white stars, I think it's white stars? It's either white or gold. I'm going to go with white. Tell me if I'm wrong. They have black stars. Two. Remember the islands that have kind of been blown up by the Americans by nuclear testing and the amount of people that have died from the fallout and radiation poisoning. That's another thing. America is what messed up place. Outside of like what's going on currently in America, they Why would you blow up islands? Just to test out like nuclear weapons. 
absolutely mad, mad place in America. I was going to try and not visit there at some point, but it's too fucked up. Way too fucked up. Anyway, on a more kind of cheery note, do you know the nylon flag on this current, well, not currently, I don't think, but that was put on the moon during Apollo 2 cost $5.50. And then it got knocked over during the lunar module ascent and is probably now kind of disintegrated due to the UV, light, heat and radiation. That's all the facts. I couldn't really find too many. But if you would like to hear more facts, then kind of tell me. Because at this point kind of Outside of doing something utterly ridiculous, I'll probably do it. So, and please subscribe because, look, you've got to see more of this. If you don't, then and tell me, and I'll, I'll try and cover my face. I'm waffling on there, so. Cheers.